Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You want to have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? Not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. Hey. Come on. We're going to the Spencer Shipping Warehouse. All right, Jimmy. Here we are. A warehouse full of expensive-looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer shipping. Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yup, and now we're gonna play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins. Do the job.
you sure know how to have a good time, Zoe. was never any doubt. Speak to a prefect. kids. I'm in a good mood today, so just shut up and get to work. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Good work, Hopkins. Too shabby, Hopkins. I guess you're not useless. Okay, see you next time, Jim. You paying attention? And done. If you're ever in doubt what to do, it's best to keep your mouth shut and keep working. So get to it. Shutting up and working? It works. All right, you're getting somewhere now. 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 Somewhere now. Okay, son, you've learned what there is to learn. Anytime you want to come tool around, you're welcome to. You better be taking notes. Hopkins comes through. Hopkins to the office. We're very disappointed in you. Oh, it's so good to see you. Do you even realize how much... 
I was looking over your last assignments, and some of you have real talent. It was really a treat. Silly like that, don't you? I wish I could do something wild and exciting, like go to the big city with a boy. This looks useful. We're going to talk about this I in hope therapy. My clothes aren't Do you know? I've got a fever, and the only prescription hey, is more ass off whooping. <laughs>
wife. There's something special about you. That's how it's done. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. Hopkins, you're in trouble. To the office. I'm sure you'll all be happy to hear that this is the last assignment I have for you.
smash some nerds glass. I have no more assignments for you, Jimmy. I'll miss these afternoons we've spent together. I should give lessons. I said I'd do it.
Why'd you pick that? <laughs> Good morning, my little cartographers! No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect.
Hopkins, my boy. I'm afraid I've underestimated you. Congratulations! You've passed my class! I'm getting Dr. good at this! Of course, Dr. Crabblesnitch. Good thing you And that's that. She's got the hots from me, I know it. All right, let's get this over with, children. Pay attention! Wrong. Enough for today. Good work. Excellent work. Well, Jimmy, I don't know how you did it, but you passed my class. Congratulations. It's easy when you know I how. Love hot dogs. I'm done. has informed me of some drawings in the boys' washroom. Apparently, the sense of detail shows real promise. Jimmy, you've completed all your assignments. If you'd like to come back to work on your skills, you're very welcome. No problem! I should teach lessons or something. Jimmy Hopkins, you are so All we gotta do is get back to the library. Hey, honey, I have something to show you.
can't get it right the first time. She didn't know what she was doing. You feckless maggots! We'll be playing dodgeball for the next while. Ah, dodgeball! How I love the sound of boys crying in the morning. Much like real life, the strongest will prevail. All right, you lazy bums, look alive! Good! Hopkins, you're with the wimps. I want everyone to give their best, boys, their best! You don't have a chance to get Whenever you feel like teaching these wimps a few things. Never even eat that stuff. It was easy. Job well done. Jimmy Hopkins, you are to go to the principal's office immediately. Is that a hat, or are you getting messages from aliens? Help your fellow Woolworth Academy. Remember, class, the specimens are not edible, no matter how delicious they look. Hopkins, you can't rush science. Oh, nasty. Your time, boy. Dissection is an art. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Oh, that smells great. A 
good start, Hopkins. Let's see if you can keep it up, shall we? Well, Hopkins, you seem to have passed biology. There must be some scientific explanation for this. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Hopkins. It, it, I'm good. That's all there is to it. need some help. Jimmy Hopkins, you are to go to the principal's office immediately. I really love... Jimmy... Hug your fellow Woolworth Academy. team. Everyone should be eating a full breakfast before class and getting at least eight hours rest. I hope you're all taking this class seriously. Music should be an amazing outlet for personal expression, not just an opportunity to bang on things.
I didn't think you'd do it, Jimmy, but you passed music class. Congratulations, you little drummer boy, you. I rule! I really, really, really need some help. Jimmy Hopkins, you are to go to the principal's office immediately. Jimmy Hopkins, you are to go to the principal's office. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform uh, or attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. I don't have time to bother with you. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How is that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale.
help to bust into the dropout's hideout.
what I'm talking about.
want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Aw, oh, man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing, two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on. You're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. I'm good. What can I say? Doing, school kid. Why do you care? Because you don't belong around here. Says who? Me! You? Uh huh. You think you're funny, huh? You're a loser, man. <laughs> Damn straight. You're awesome. Do that again. I'm crazy, rich boy. Crazy! And you are starting to annoy me. I'm not rich. I hate the rich kids. <sighs> not as much as I do. <laughs> I really hate them. Man, you've got issues. You saying I'm crazy? No, man. Because I am. Okay, fine. You're crazy. And someone's gonna get hurt. I don't doubt it. Those rich scum. Go smash up their mailboxes. Take my bat. Use her well. Beat any rich scum you come across. Why? Because it's them or you. Well, I know one thing. It's not gonna be me.
Excellence You're going back out of here. You gotta use the right tools for the job. My fighting excellence is lethal. You are. So... Ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? R Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well, what about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls.
Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan.
Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. <laughs> Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! If you proved me one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive.
Just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would have if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> <laughs> The whole thing, you're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. What a hero! A lone wolf! Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired! I hope he rots in hell! And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. 
I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier.